This is BBC News with a special programme on news of a royal engagement this morning. It's been announced that Prince Harry is to marry his girlfriend, the American actress Meghan Markle. Clarence House confirmed the news in the last hour. The Queen and Duke of Edinburgh say they are delighted for the couple and wish them every happiness. This is the scene at Kensington Palace where the royal couple will live. Meghan Markle is an American actress best known for her role in the hit TV series Suits. She's a divorcee, having been married once before. The couple, who've been dating since June last year, are set to marry in the spring of 2018. Hello and welcome to this BBC News special. Prince Harry is to marry his American girlfriend, the actress Meghan Markle. He said he is delighted and that the engagement has had the blessing of Ms Markle's parents. The couple will marry in the spring. A statement from Clarence House in the past hour said the couple had become engaged in London earlier this month. And Buckingham Palace tweeted that the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh are delighted for the couple. and wish them every happiness. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, meanwhile, said of the engagement, we are very excited for Harry and Meghan. It has been wonderful getting to know Meghan and to see how happy she and Harry are together. This now from our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell. Their relationship has developed in the main out of sight of the media. One exception was when they appeared together, hand in hand, and to view events at the Invictus Games in Toronto, the games which he's done so much to organise, taking place in the city where she's lived for the last few years. Those who saw them say they looked like a couple very much in love. That that is the case had been confirmed by Meghan Markle herself. Notwithstanding the couple's reservations about the media, she gave an interview to Vanity Fair magazine in which she declared, We're a couple. We're in love. For Harry, the engagement brings to an end the bachelor life which he's led and enjoyed for a good many years, whilst all the time seeking someone with whom he could settle down and start a family. Twice it had seemed he'd found the right person. Chelsea Davy, born in Zimbabwe, educated in Britain, was Harry's girlfriend for six years up to 2010. And then there was Cressida Bonas, a young actress from an aristocratic British family who was with Harry for two years until 2014. In both cases, the relationships founded, at least in part, because of the intense media scrutiny. That scrutiny may be something Meghan Markle is better prepared Hi. to deal with. Wow, you're pretty. Good. You've hit on me. We can get it out of the way that I'm not interested. No, I'm As an American actress with several high-profile roles, she's used to the public spotlight. Beyond her acting career, there are significant other dimensions to Meghan Markle's life. I'm smart, and I know I'd be a good lawyer. She's described herself as a strong woman of mixed race. Her father is of Irish descent. Her mother is an African American. She's been active in humanitarian campaigns and is a UN advocate for the empowerment of women. I am proud to be a woman and a feminist. For Harry, an engagement finally offers the prospect of the personal fulfilment which at times has seemed elusive. As any girl will ever tell you, um, it's a, sort of, oh my god, he's a prince. But... This was him in a US television interview in 2012. I mean, look at me, I'm 27 years old, and um, um, not so much searching for someone to fulfil the role, but obviously you know, finding someone that would be willing to, to take it on. Harry has finally found that special person. We're going to look at privacy and harassment law. One of the couple's immediate challenges will be to find some privacy. In a statement soon after the relationship became public, Harry said, this isn't a game, it's his and Miss Markle's life. A life which, in her case, is about to take a remarkable change of direction as she prepares to join the British royal family. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News. And Nicholas is with me now. 
very much uh, anticipated this announcement this morning. Uh, Nicholas, just take us through the details that we do know so far. Very few details, really. Um, they have become engaged within the past few weeks, which is perhaps the one surprise, um, because it had been assumed that, that they perhaps became engaged some months ago. But according to the statement issued by Clarence House, uh, they became engaged in London earlier this month. Uh, other than that, of course, we are going to have to wait for further details about the wedding. They say that it will take place in the spring of next year. I would think probably May, given that uh, the Cambridge's baby is due in April, so I would have thought that May would be uh, a likely um, time frame for it. Will it be in church? I would have thought almost certainly. Um, the reason for the hesitation is that she is a divorcee. Now, the Church of England uh, has uh, rules and uh, conventions about that, but I think that it is very much at the discretion of uh, the local priest, or the bishop, or in this case, I would imagine the archbishop. And Archbishop Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, has indicated that he is sympathetic to a church marriage for a divorcee, providing uh, neither of the parties has been involved in the breakup of the previous marriage, if you see what I mean. And clearly, that's not the case. And one assumes he probably has already been consulted about this. I think, yeah, I think uh, he certainly has. I think uh, rumour has it that he's already been sounded out about. Uh, the prospect for there being a church wedding and I would imagine uh, that he has indicated that he would feel that it was possible. And it's uh, a very different sort of royal engagement in many ways, isn't it? Well, yes. I mean, here we have an American divorcee, which of course does uh, resonate to some extent uh, in terms of royal family history. It's 80 years since Edward VIII gave up the throne in order to marry a divorcee. Very different given that he was the sovereign, Harry fifth in line, shortly to be sixth in line to the throne. There isn't the same sensitivity. And of course, we, society and the royal family have moved on massively since those days. The other, um, of course, significant fact is that she is a woman of mixed race. As she says, she is uh, a, a proud woman of mixed race herself. And so she brings that dimension to the royal family. And I think it will be seen as a very positive signal. And I would imagine that uh, all members of the royal family will embrace that fact as being a very positive development for them. And clearly they're very much in love, as she has declared in Vanity Fair quite recently. Uh, and uh, they will be looking forward, I'm sure, now to uh, marrying and to starting a family uh, fairly quickly. Harry is very popular. The UK media, the US media, the international media will be, be all over this, won't they, Nick? I would say so, yeah. Um, the American media, I would imagine, will be extremely excited at the prospect of uh, an American marrying into the royal family. And I think that the thing that comes across is that she's very poised, she's very confident, she is this uh, UN advocate for the empowerment of women. She's quite used to the public stage, quite apart from being an actress. Uh, but I think that uh, she will take readily to a public role, uh, though she will need to adapt to the kind of peculiarities, if we can put it that way, of life in Britain. Within the royal family, there will be certain protocol and etiquette that she will just have to get to understand. And I think that uh, others who've married into the royal family have uh, found it quite a challenge, but she's clearly intelligent and uh, sassy and feisty uh, and she will have somebody to guide her through it in the shape of her husband. Okay, Nick, thank you very much for that. Uh, our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell. Well, the engagement was officially announced by Clarence House, uh, who released this statement. His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, is delighted to announce the engagement of Prince Harry to Miss Meghan Markle. The wedding will take place in spring 2018. Further details about the wedding day will be announced in due course. His Royal Highness and Ms Markle became engaged in London earlier this month. And the statement goes on. Prince Harry has informed Her Majesty the Queen and other close members of his family. Prince Harry has also sought and received the blessing of Ms Markle's parents. The couple will live in Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace. And uh, a little bit more detail on the statement from uh, Meghan Markle's parents who uh, released this through Clarence House. Mr Thomas Markle and Ms Doria Ragland said, We are incredibly happy for Meghan and Harry. Our daughter has always been a kind and loving person. To see her union with Harry, who shares the same qualities, is a source of great joy for us as parents. We wish them a lifetime of happiness and are very excited for their future together.
Meghan Markle is primarily, of course, known for her work as an actress, but she's also involved with charity work and work with the United Nations as an advocate for women. One of her friends there is Elizabeth Naya Mayaro. Our royal correspondent, Daniela Relf, caught up with Ms. Naya Mayaro and asked her how Ms. Markle may now choose to use her new role as part of the royal family. I think even beyond having her voice heard, I think